the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Hi, I'm Mark DeCoster with an AVI TPMS Tech Tip. Now, strange things can happen with TPMS systems. Did you know that something as simple as plugging your phone into your USB port on your vehicle can actually cause the system to go off? I had a colleague of mine, we were talking about TPMS issues just the other day, and he was saying he was driving with his daughter. His daughter plugged the, her phone into the USB port in the vehicle, and all of a sudden the TPS light came on. Now, those types of problems actually occur more often than you might think. And some phones tend to be known for that more so than others. One of the, one of the phone issues that really has, has gotten a lot of press about causing TPMS and even other issues is the, uh, charger, uh, the wireless charger ones, where you put that wireless charger in place and the RFI from that charger will end up creating problems with TPMS. Additional problems that you can have with TPMS come from the actual modules in the cars themselves. Modules that aren't properly grounded, again, can create uh, uh, interference, RFI. They can create problems on the networks, all of which may act on the TPMS system, causing the light to come on, to go off, to act erratically. You may not have any DTCs that are related to that when you hook a scan tool up. And so you need to start to find that information. One of the really good things to do to help you out is to go into an information of a service publication like ProDemand uh, or one of the others and be able to see what they've got to say. Uh, I've looked at any number of vehicles, anything from Cadillacs to, to Fords to Chevrolets to uh, uh, foreign cars. And all of them have in their troubleshooting areas in service publications for TPMS discussions about things like aftermarket tires that are that are run flat that have got extra uh, metal in them that the signals got not getting through, the electronics that might be in a vehicle that might be add-on electronics like a, a audio or video system something like that, and of course as I said something as simple as just simply plugging your phone in. Any one of those can do that. So if you've got a car that's got an intermittent concern and you're having trouble finding it, or if you've got a problem doing a relearn on the vehicle, start looking for some of those other concerns. Where are, my, where are some of the electronics been mounted? Uh, are there any other issues in the car or on the network that give you trouble? Is it maybe a phone that's giving a, a concern? All of those things can give you problems and all of those things are things that you wanna keep in mind but the service information will have that information there for you as well. I'm Mark DeCoster and this is an AVI TPMS Tech Tip.